What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to be going over how to start a Bed Wars server and how to play. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay up to date on all future videos. When you are playing Minecraft, you'll start to realize that beds can actually be your saving grace, allowing you to respawn at a familiar location instead of somewhere random. Not everyone is like Elsa wanting to jump into the unknown. And with this in mind, the concept of player versus player and beds were combined into the Bed Wars game type. This twist on the Sky Wars game mode sees players fight across airborne platforms, all while trying to break the bed of the other teams to prevent them from being able to respawn. This normally requires certain configurations, but when you choose to use our pre-made game type, all of your required worlds, files, and plugins that you might need come pre-configured for you to use. It really leaves none of the work and all of the fun, so if you're ready to jump into your Bed Wars game, Let's go over how to install it. When choosing to play on a pre-made server game type, we always highly suggest removing all server files ahead of time. This can prevent conflicts between plugins, worlds, and other files, which can lead to crashes. First, head into your Apex server panel and then stop the server, remembering to back up any files through the FTP if needed. While you're still on the main panel page, Press Reset Server Files on the left-hand side, and when asked, choose to remove all server files. Afterwards, enter Reset to confirm the removal of all server files. After you've reset all of your files, make sure that the server is still offline, and then scroll down to the Game File section and open the drop-down menu. Find and select Bed Wars from the server list, and then when asked, choose Change Version, and choose to use the included world, and then restart the server. Once the server is online with the Bed Wars game type, you can join and start playing. When you first spawn in, you will be greeted by the server lobby. This massive mountain towers above everything, and the tunnels throughout it are open for exploration. Here, you will find a variety of crates and vaults, allowing you to access cosmetics. Near the left side of the map, you will find three NPCs who can be interacted with for different reasons. Through these NPCs, you can view the score of the top 10 players, access the crate key shop for random rewards, or access the cosmetic shop to purchase rewards directly. Another NPC on the right-hand side will display your personal Bed Wars stats from the server. This is helpful if you want to view your kill-death ratio, check your wins, or just to simply see how many games you've played. When you're ready to begin a match, make your way to the set of signs available on either side of the lobby. To the right side, you'll find the solo arenas, as these four maps are playable by yourself, and to the left, you'll find the team arenas, which allow you to fight with other players to score a win. Whichever you want to try, next, you're going to select an arena to get started in playing Bed Wars. Once you first spawn on your island, head to the back of your base to find gold and iron generated on the ground. These are some of the currencies available in-game to purchase a variety of items. While these two are used for a majority of the purchases, Diamonds are also available in the map for higher quality purchases, if you can find them. With these currencies, you can visit the two shops available on either side of your base. This is where you can purchase tons of different armor sets, tools, weapons, and blocks. Each item will play a massive role in both offensive and defensive situations. Blocks will be helpful to build across to other players, or you can also use them to protect your own respawn point. In Bed Wars, as you would probably guess, the most important aspect of all of this is the bed itself. When you're playing, you can respawn as many times as you want to as long as your bed is still at your base. But the moment it is destroyed, you will no longer be able to respawn. When playing Bed Wars, your goal is to destroy the beds of the other teams while also protecting your own. I know, it sounds a little crazy. Once the beds are destroyed, the last team or person remaining grabs a victory for themselves or the group. 
This will reward the victors with in-game cash as well as cosmetic currency to spend in the lobby. Here's a list of some notable commands, which will also be linked in our blog post with the same name. And that's how to install and play Bed Wars on your server. This game mode is a fan favorite because of the fun and the chaos that is created through defending a necessary respawn point while also trying to attack others. Whether you want to work together with teammates or risk leaving your base unattended in a solo game mode, the exhilarating feeling of searching for survival is addicting, and you'll find yourself heading back into bed wars without even realizing it. Just remember that no matter how you prepare or what you buy to become stronger, you and every other player are just one bet away from losing your ability to respawn. So plan carefully and jump into the world of bed wars. That's all for this one, gamers. As always, I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.